In this tutorial, we'll look at how to create and add our own data to a web map with map notes. We're looking right now at a web map that I've previously created, saved, and shared. Right now, it consists uh, solely of a single layer, which is the population density layer that you can see is the orange polygons. This data I found from the Add Search for Layers option, which allowed me access to layers that others had created and shared online for use in web maps. But right now I want to create my own layer that doesn't currently exist. You can add your own data directly to a map by adding a map notes layer. These layers are useful for adding a small number of features to a map, and they can be saved for later use in other web maps. To create a map notes layer, go to the Add button, Add Map Notes, you're prompted for a title, so I'll create that. Now I'm prompted for the type of feature I want to create. It can consist of points, lines, or polygons. In this case, I'm going to create a polygon layer, so I'm going to choose the area option. In the map area, I go to the, where I want to create the, the polygon, and I click once and let go to lay down a vertex, and I click again and lay down the vertices that will define the perimeter of that polygon. You'll notice that as I move along, it starts to complete that polygon. When I'm ready to finish the polygon, I double click and it will close it off and then prompt me to name it. And here I'm making up a type of geology that doesn't actually exist. The title and the description will show up when I click on the feature in the map. In addition, I can also add imagery as well as links to other web pages or websites. The links, of course, have to be from existing things that are online. So if I wanted to add an image that will show up in the pop-up, I need to go and find an image that's already online. This can be either on an existing web page or on a uh, social media account such as Flickr or Facebook. In this case, I'm going to use an image that already exists on a web page. I'm interested in this one right here. I can grab the URL for the image by right-clicking on the image and choosing to copy the image location, or otherwise, if I view the image, it'll show me that image as well. The key point is to copy the image URL. So that's what we're looking for. In the um, dialog here, I'm going to put that URL into that image URL location and I want to make the image uh, hyperlink so that if you click on the image it'll take you to the orig originating website that way I can give credit to the source of that image so I'm going to copy that um, source All right now I can also of course change the symbol of the polygon by altering the color of the fill or the outline, for example. When I've made all the changes I want to, I click Close, and then I close off the Add Features window on the left. Now if I click on that polygon, it shows up with the title, the descriptive text, the image, and the image is also a hyperlink to the original source. I can always go back and edit this item by choosing the Edit option and then altering the URL or the links. In order to make this newly created map notes layer accessible in the future, I need to save it. So on the left hand side in the table of contents over here, I'm going to click on this three button ellipses for more options and I'm going to choose to save the layer. It'll take the title that I gave it originally. Again, it wants a, ta a tag and a summary. I'll create the item. Now what I've just done is I've made sure that the polygon layer I've just created is permanently saved in my contents. And I also want to save the map. And what that does is it ensures that the current look of the map is preserved so that when I open it in the future it returns to this particular configuration. To drive the point home, if we go to the upper left ArcGIS and then go to My Content, 
what we should see is not only the saved map, which we created earlier, in this case, this is my first map, but we also see this feature layer, um, geology temp, that we just created, that, that single polygon. Notice here that it's currently not shared, which means that while the map itself is visible to anyone who views the map when I share it, the geology layer isn't. So it needs to be shared. So the way that I do that is I go to view the item details. And I'll click on share and make sure that it's shared with everyone. Click OK. Now when I go back to the contents, I'll see that geology temp is now shared with everyone. That way when I share the map, everything is visible. And there you go.